The Basics of Roman Numeral Translation In this video, we're going to learn the Roman numeral system and how to read and write years in Roman numerals. It's as easy as 1, 2, 3, where an uppercase letter I represents the number 1. II equals 2 and III equals 3. Remember, all letters in Roman numerals are uppercase. There are no lowercase numbers in Roman numerals. Now for 5 and 10, a V represents 5 and an X represents the number 10. So I's add to V's when an I follows a V. In Roman numerals, letters add together when a smaller one follows a higher one. So V plus I equals 6, whereas 5 plus 1 equals 6. And they add because the lower number follows a higher one. V plus II equals 7 and V plus III equals 8. And you can see how this is simply 1, 2, and 3 with a V preceding each one of them to make them 6, 7, and 8. So 6, 7, and 8 are VI, VII, and VIII. Similarly, you can add I's to X's when an I follows an X, and you would be adding a 1 to a 10. So x plus i equals 11, x plus ii equals 12, x plus iii equals 13. So 11, 12, and 13 are xi, xii, and xiii. You can see how this is very similar to the 6, 7, and 8. Only we're adding 10s to each one because they, they proceed with an x instead of adding a 5 with a V as in 6, 7, and 8. The other Roman numerals are L, C, D, and M. And the only way to remember these is just to remember them, and you don't have to cram right now. They'll, they'll, they'll come to you after a while of looking over Roman numerals. L equals 50. C equals 100. And the way I remember that one is a C note is 100. D equals 500, and M equals 1,000. And again, it's just simply something that you have to remember. There's, there's no real magic trick to it. Now, anytime you see combinations like 6, 7, and 8, they're always the same. In other words, what we're saying here is that a VI is always 6. If it's at the end of a big long Roman numeral, you know that that number ends in a 6. For instance, since m equals 1000, mm will equal 2000. So, mmbi equals 2006, mmbii equals 2007, mmbiii equals 2008. And of course, MMXI equals 2011, MMXII equals 2012, and MMXIII equals 2013. You can see that these are numbers that we've already learned, except for now they have two M's in front of them, which means they are 2000, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, and 13. But Roman numerals don't always add. When a Roman numeral precedes a higher value Roman numeral, the first one subtracts from the second one. So, IV equals 4 instead of 6, where that is represented by a VI, because in the 4, the I is the smaller number first, and therefore is being subtracted from the larger number that follows it. <coughs> Similarly, IX equals 9, but xi equals 11. In xl, where a 10 is being subtracted from a 50, equals 40. But lx, where the two numbers being added together, is 60.
xc equals 90 because 10 is being subtracted from 100. That is the C note. But CX equals 110 because 10 is being added to 100. CD equals 400, but D DC equals 600. Here we have 100 being subtracted or added to 500. And CM equals 900, where M equals 1,000. But MC equals 1,100 because here the C is the smaller of the two and it adds to the M, which is 1,000 for 1,100. So it follows that MM IV equals 2,004, MM IX equals 2,009, MM XIV equals 2,014, MM XIX equals 2,019. Now what about the 1900s? We've done some years from 2000 up. Well 1900 is MCM. So the year 1900 is MCM. And here we have 1000 and then 100 being subtracted from 1000 for 1900. So MCMX is 1910. MCMXX is 1920. MCMXXX is 1930. MCMXL is 1940. MCML is 1950. Here we have no X being subtracted from the 50, so it's 1950. MCMLX, here we have the X, the 10 being added to the 50 for 1960. MCMLXX equals 1970. MCMLXXX equals 1980. And here's a little more tricky one. MCMXC equals 1990. Here we have a C being subtracted from an M for 900, making the MCM 1900. And then we have an, an X being subtracted from a C, because in this case the X is a smaller number, so the 10 is being subtracted from the 100. And we get 1990. Since you know how to count to 9 already, you can read any year from 1900 al already to any year well past the year 2000. Here are a few years ending in 4. 1924 is MCM XX IV. And when we break it up, we can see that we have 1900, the MCM. 20 is simply XX. And 4, which we know by heart now, is IV. Then 1984 will be MCM for the 1900, and the 80 is L for 50 plus 10, 10, 10, or XXX plus 4. 1994 is 1900 plus 90, which we now know is XC, where 10 is being subtracted from 100, plus IV for 4. And then 2024 is simply MM for 2000 plus XX for 20 plus 4. Now here are a few examples where the numbers end in 8. 1948 is MCM XL VIII. And here in each example the last number is going to be 8 because they're all going to end with VIII. And they all begin, not they all don't all, but most of them begin with MCM for 1900. And then there's an XL for 40, that's where 10 is subtracted from 50 and that number is 1948. 1958, there's no 10 being subtracted from the, the 50 as in the XL above, but 1958 then becomes MCM L V I I I, where it's 1900 plus 50 plus 8. 1998, a little more tricky, MCM X C V I I I. Since that says 1998, it should be 1900 MCM plus 90, which is XC, 10 subtracted from 100, plus 8. And 2008 is simply MM plus 8, VII. I. Now you've mastered the basics of Roman numeral translation. But for even more Roman numeral conversions, you can visit RomanNumeralConversion.com. 
and here you can see any number you're not sure of it's a calculator you put in the digital number it'll turn it into a Roman numeral and also vice versa and that's Roman numeral conversions just click the link below where the arrow is pointing